Examine the hand while the patient is seated with the hand resting palm up on the exam table and the arm exposed to the elbow. Ask the patient to relax the hand so it assumes the position of function or rest position. In the position of function, the fingers are flexed uniformly. Note they are not parallel. Instead, they all converge at a single point on the wrist. Note that this subject has a slight rotation of her little finger, which appears slightly tucked under the ring finger. With the fingers flexed 90 degrees, examine the fingers end on. The fingernails should all be parallel in the same plane. Inspect the palmar and dorsal aspect of the hand for gross deformity, redness, and swelling, particularly at the metacarpophalangeal and interphalangeal joints. Note any lesions of the skin and nails. Also look for muscular atrophy on the dorsum of the hand between the metacarpals and on the palm, particularly the thenar eminence and hypothenar eminence. Gently palpate for increased warmth. Then systematically palpate for tenderness over each of the bones and joints. Use only one finger, which helps localize the tender area. Test range of motion of the entire hand by having the patient clench her fist and then open her hand fully, and then spread her fingers as wide as possible, and then resist attempts to squeeze them together. Then test range of motion and strength of each digit, starting with the thumb individually and its ability to pinch each of the fingers. Then test the posterior interosseous nerve by having the patient lift the index finger against resistance and then the thumb. Then systematically assess flexion in the other fingers by holding the proximal interphalangeal joint in place and having the patient flex the fingertip. This isolates the profundus tendon. Then have the patient flex at the PIP joint. Check for trigger finger by having the patient flex each finger while you palpate over the flexor tendon at the distal palmar crease where you may be able to feel a nodule catch in the A1 pulley. For patients with thumb injury, test the stability of the ulnar collateral ligament by stabilizing the MCP joint of the thumb with one hand and applying radial force to the tip of the thumb with the other hand. You may need to compare findings to the unaffected side. For patients with numbness or paresthesias of the thumb through long finger, test for carpal tunnel syndrome using the Tunnell test and Phelan test. Do the Tunnell test by tapping over the carpal tunnel to see if that causes paresthesias in the fingers innervated by the median nerve. Do the Phelan test by having the patient hold the wrist flexed at 90 degrees for a minute to see if that causes paresthesias in the fingers innervated by the median nerve. For patients with numbness or paresthesias of the little finger, test for ulnar nerve impingement in the cubital tunnel. This is done by tapping your finger on the cubital tunnel to see if it causes paresthesias in the little and ring fingers. Two-point discrimination at the fingertips is a sensitive test for nerve injury. Use calipers or a bent paper clip. If you use calipers, be sure to carefully disinfect the tips before and after the exam. Discard the paper clip. Demonstrate the test by touching the side of the fingertip with either one or two ends of the test instrument, asking the patient whether she feels one or two touches. Be sure to touch the point simultaneously, not sequentially. Have the patient close her eyes, start with a wide gap that the patient can clearly distinguish, and gradually narrow the gap until the patient cannot discriminate one point from two. Touch sometimes with one and sometimes with two points. 
measure the shortest distance that the patient can discriminate. In this patient, the two-point discrimination is slightly over two millimeters. Repeat the exam on the unaffected side. Use the same side of the same finger because different fingers may have different normal two-point discrimination. But between the same fingers, discrimination ability should be within about two millimeters.